And Walker County is another area that's experiencing its fair share of cleanup efforts due to floods. WIT 42 traffic reporter Jamie Langley speaks with Walker County EMA Assistant Director Tommy Davis with the latest on road conditions in that area. What kind of damage are you seeing for Walker County as of right now? I know that a lot of roadways at this point have been flooded. What are you ass assessing at this point? Well, right now, you know, we have a couple of more hours of rain that's going to be coming in. We have currently around 200 homes that are affected. Uh, the damage is still unknown due to the flooding. Uh, we do have some roads, several roads in the county that uh, is going to have to be re reworked and uh, redone. But the total amount is uh, unknown at this time. Uh, now, as more wet weather moves across the area today, you mentioned that. How is this affecting the damage assessment process? Is that hindering it whatsoever? That, that it is. Uh, with the heavy rainfall and, and things, it, it, it has affected the, uh, the uh, DA teams. Uh, as soon as the rain lets up, you know, we will be back out in full force with the uh, DA team. Now, what does that mean for residents and drivers who may be passing through that area? If they, if they would, if the road is flood, flooded, please don't go through it. Uh, you don't know what the road underneath looks like. Uh, you might drive down that road 100 times a day, but with the water over the road, the road could be washed out. So we ask that you do not drive over it. If you would, just call and report that in so we can take a look at that. And Davis also says to follow the Walker County EMA Facebook page and their website for information on those closed roads. You can also go to WIAT.com for an update on road closures across central Alabama.